So you want to install Iris shaders for Minecraft in 2025 the easiest way possible? Well, you have come to the right video. I'm going to teach you how to install Iris shaders and how to fix any issue you might have along the way in 2025. Let's go ahead and get started. And the first step to download and install Iris shaders in 2025 is to click the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to our written guide on how to download and install Iris shaders. Now, you don't have to read through this whole thing. This is just here for those of you that like to read and look at a screenshot. This is a very in-depth guide, by the way, if you were to get lost at any point of this video. But if you want to make it quick, just scroll down to step one and then click Iris Shaders. It's that simple. That'll bring you over here where we're going to click Download Universal Jar. Notice that it says Jar in there. Keep that in mind because that is going to be important forward. And I'm going to explain that what that means in a second. But let's go ahead and click that button and the download will begin right away for the Iris installer. And while we wait for Iris to download, if you need a Minecraft server, Apex Hosting is going to give you 25% off if you use the first link in the description. Apex Hosting offers a bunch of different customization options when creating a server for Minecraft. And they actually offer over 200 mod packs that you could install to your server with just a click of a button. So you and your friends could play together on custom mod packs and stuff like that. Now they also have locations all around the world so you or your friends can complain about lagging. And besides all the advantages and something they don't mention in here, which I personally think they should, is that you could actually access a server console through your phone, meaning that you could be away from the house and stuff and still be able to change the settings, kick people out, you know, access a server console and control your server through your phone. I'm gonna leave that first link in the description for 25% off with Apex Hosting and thank you Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. Now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now once Iris shaders download, we're gonna find it here on our recent download history or in our default downloads folder in our computer and we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop that into our desktop just like so and now we have the iris installer that jar file in our desktop now remember that i said that knowing what a jar is is important it's because we're gonna need to open this file and you could just double click on it and the installer will open but if it doesn't that is because you don't have the proper software to open a jar file in your computer the proper software that you need is java java 21 the thing is that after minecraft got updated to minecraft 1.20.5 you now need java 21 to open open any jar files to mod Minecraft. So if you don't have Java 21, click on the link in the description that says Java 21, which is our written guide on how to download and install Java 21. It's pretty simple. You just download Java 21 from their website and then hit next a couple of times in the installer and you will have Java 21 installed. It's that simple and that's it. You'll be able to open this file. So remember, you do need Java 21. That is a requirement. I'm going to leave it in the description of this video. Now, once we were able to open this file, we're going to select the Minecraft version that we want. You could be watching this at any time of the year. So the version here is going to be different than mine just select the one that you want click it and then hit install and wait for this to install it's very important that you close your minecraft game as well as your minecraft launcher while you're installing iris now once iris finishes installing it will say completed in here we could close it out and we could even delete the installer from our desktop because we don't need it anymore now let's go ahead and launch the minecraft launcher to show you how to play iris and how to fix any issues if you don't see iris when you open your minecraft launcher by the way you should see iris in here once the minecraft launcher is opened you should see iris selected in here automatically as you can see i have iris and sodium for 1.21.4 version is going to be different obviously but you should see it in there and if you don't that is because you need to head over to installations make sure you select modded in here without modded this won't work and then click on new installation and then name this whatever you want it could be apex hosting right since they are so nice to give you 25 percent off and then on the version you're going to look for iris okay and then you're going to select that iris that you just installed and you're going to hit install down here uh, actually it's over here right you're gonna hit install down there on the bottom right of your launcher and that is going to open iris finally for you over here now it's time to go ahead and play Minecraft using Iris. Let's go ahead and hit play over here. This is the player safety features. If you don't know what this is, you could click in here and read more about it. But I already know what it is, so I'm going to hit I understand the risk. And I'm going to hit play again. And let's go ahead and wait for the game to open so I could show you how to configure Iris in the game and how to add shaders to Iris within the game. Now, once the game opens, we know that we're in a different Minecraft because this is fabric down here. And also, if we head over to options and then video settings, you'll see that this menu has completely changed. That is because we're using Iris now, okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and hit close. And as you can see, this menu is changing here. And this is the menu where we're going to change the settings of our Minecraft game to improve the performance, right? We could toggle things on and off, and we could also change the quality of the game. Like, for example, if you lower your graphics from fancy to fast, you will have worse graphics, but faster performance, right? Now, how do you add shaders, you might ask? You might already see the shader packs option in here. Let's go ahead and open a world real quick so I could show you from within a world how to add shaders. So I'm launching the first world that I have in there, and the way that we're going to add shaders is pretty similar to the way that we do it in Optifine. And you could actually just open the shader menu without going to escape. You could just press O on your keyboard and that'll actually open your shaders pack menu. How cool is that? You don't have to go through the escape options, video settings, and then shader packs. You could just press O on your keyboard. Now over here, you probably won't see any shader packs in here. So what you're going to do is open this shader pack folder here and add any shaders that you want into this folder. If you
you don't have any shaders, you could easily download them from the internet. We have a couple of shaders in our website. This is our brand new website, so we're still adding shaders. But as of right now, today, we just added two new shaders. And by the time you watch this in the future, we're going to have a bunch of different shaders in here that you could choose from. Then you just click it and then download that shader from the from the download button and you add it into this folder. Of course, in our website, everything is in detail, in depth, so you could make it super easy when adding shaders into Minecraft. But once you have this shader zip file, you just add it into here. Then you select it, hit apply, give it a couple seconds because depending on your hardware, this might take long or this might take less time. And then just wait for the shaders to load. And there we go. The shaders just loaded into the game. And if we hit done a couple of times and we go back into the game, we will see some beautiful shaders with Minecraft Java, guys. That is pretty much how to download and install Iris. Something pretty cool about Iris is that you could press K and then you disable the shaders. And if you press K again, you actually enable the shaders back. So that is pretty cool. I hope this video helped you out, guys, and you were able to install Iris in 2025. If it did, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask in return. And as always, bye bye.